can't go back that ass back you can't go back that ass so Welcome to my Zara haul. So in this video, I'm going to be trying on everything that I got from Zara. A lot of it is actually on sale. As usual, I will put the prices before and after on the screen so it's easier for you guys to know what the prices are on sale. So I placed two orders. I first got a couple of blazers that I will show you guys. They're all here. And then I placed another order of like dresses and things like that. The thing with this order was that I got these four pieces that were damaged. One has like a rip on it. One has threads coming out. One has a tag that's missing, so it was really strange because usually I haven't had any bad experiences. I feel like with Zara or at Zara, so this was the first. But I am trying to sort it out with them. Let's see what happens. But either way, I have everything hung here, so I can just try it on and show you guys everything, and then we can sort of decide what to keep and not to keep. The first piece I am wearing it. It's this dress. I really like it, but it's just not very forgiving. It just sort of hugs you in places you may not want it to hug you. But all in all, this is completely my style. I just love like the high slit. I love like this neck. The only thing is, I don't know if like the strap has been altered or not. It looks like somebody might have altered it, or I don't know the straps like that because obviously I haven't seen all the other dresses. But this dress, all in all, is really really nice. Then there's this dress. I actually think it could have been pretty cute, but it is a little bit for me. You guys can see it's gaping here. You either have to use double-sided tape to keep it in place, or you probably just need like bigger boots for it. Um, so yeah, this one is probably a no, even though I think it is pretty cute. Okay, so this I really like the color, but this is one of the damaged pieces. So there is a rip here, you guys can see. So I think somebody who has either bought it before or I don't know what's happened has just really aggressively pulled it, and it has a hole here. I love this color, but my issue with it is that it is so crushed. It's like a fabric that you have to steam before you wear it, which is a little frustrating. But otherwise, the slit and the color—I mean, it is a really nice dress. But for the fact that it's damaged and the fact that it gets so wrinkled, I don't think I'm going to keep this one. So I did order the matching skirt, but that was the one that was out of stock by the time I think like they received the order. So I got this top, and I decided I would pair it with this skirt. So this is a linen like blend skirt. I love the color, and I love these two colors together. But because it is a linen blend, it gets super crushed, and I'm not a fan of the fact that it gets really crushed. Also, as cute as this outfit is, the skirt is a little big, so I'm not a fan of that. But yeah, I just love these two colors together. Okay, so I picked out a couple of blazers. This is the first one. They had some other brighter colors than this, but they were out of stock. Um, I think generally I do prefer blazers that have like a collar, but this one, like I think, fits pretty nice as well. And it's just got this like hidden button here, like that. And yeah, I mean, I think it is nice, but I'm just like not sure whether I like it enough or not. But all in all, what do you guys think? Okay, then there's this light blue blazer. I think this is also a bit of a linen blend. It's a lot more muted in terms of the tone, which is actually nice. But it does get crushed as well, really easily, is what it looks like. And I'm not a fan of that. I'm not going to keep steaming or ironing my clothes. So I don't know. It is a nice jacket, but I'm just not sure of the maintenance of the jacket and if that's a good enough reason to keep it. So amongst all the jackets so far, I think this one might be my favorite. It's really neutral. I love that it's just got like these stripes, so you can actually pair it with a lot of colors and prints as well. So this is really nice. It's like this long, oversized, almost like double-breasted blazer. You can just button it up if you like, and you can almost wear it like a blazer dress as well, which is really cute. So this one I think might be a keeper. So this one is same as that sort of light blue blazer. Again, I think it's that linen blend. This one you guys can already see is already crushed. So again, same issue. I don't want to have to keep like ironing or steaming my clothes. So as much as I like this and I think it's pretty chic, I don't know. I'm not sure if I should keep it or not. What do you guys think? Okay, then we've got this floral dress. This is like a linen blend again. I think it's really nice, really comfortable. It is a little loose for me, even though I got an extra small. But I still think it is really nice. It's got this like open back detail as well, which I really like. And I think the length is also like just about right for me. So yeah, this one I think is a really nice one. This is the skirt. This is a little loose, and this is another one that was damaged. It has all these like threads pulled all over it, which is quite disappointing. And I think the finishing just generally is not very good. 
So this one is a no. Okay, then I got some shoes. This pair as well, like there was no tag that came with it. And on the sides, it's got like these like black marks on it. So I don't know. This one, I think they actually look pretty nice once you wear them. But the fact that there was no tag and it has like these like black marks all over it, I'm not sure. This is the last thing are these wedges. I'm generally not a fan of wedges, but the fact that these are clear, I really like them. The only problem with these for me is that this strap is a little too like large. So I am petite, my feet are pretty small as well. I wear 36, just for your reference. So this part is really loose. So I'm still sort of in two minds about what to do about it. But yeah, otherwise these ones are actually really nice. So that's it for my Zara haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope it sort of gave you an idea of the pieces you may like or may not like. But all in all, I think the takeaway should be to just check everything that you get make sure that nothing is damaged and if it is you can get on the zara website and immediately chat with them send them photos of the products as well they do take a little time which is i think really like a downside of shopping on zara to get back to you so their customer service is not the best except for when you chat with them but yeah all in all i just hope you guys enjoyed this video i will be sharing more videos soon so please make sure to subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video